Hey, and welcome back to the Crochet Credits with my friends over at Yarnspirations.com. It is week number three as we begin our study of planet Earth. And this week we are going to do some beans. Mm -hmm. Learned this stitch actually from Jeannie. She was asking me if I knew this and I'm like, I don't know anything about the bean stitch. And she goes, I know about the bean stitch. And so she started applying it into her afghans. And actually I was so motivated I did it in a bag. And once I did it in the bag, I understood how the stitches could work together. So for the next little bit, we're going to be doing bean stitching. So you see that beautiful bean stitching as we're expanding our way on the outside of your hexagonal and we're going to be doing beaning. So we're going to be, I want to say bean, 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 bean. Uh, I know, I need a life. So without further ado, let's go on into the studio and let's get started for week number three. So let's begin week number three. The lesson is the foundation of the mantle and we're going to be doing the bean stitch and this is a stitch that I learned from Jeannie last year. So what we have here is that it's actually a pretty simple idea and there is going to be some really amazing work. It looks like boulders. That's how come I came up with this particular concept for this particular mantle idea. So let's go to page number two. That's the fun page and of course there is a diagram to follow and you're going to see that we're going to go all the way from um, round number 17 all the way to 23. So it's actually not too much uh, as far as distance wise but because it is doing the bean stitch there's a bit of more work in creating that. You will notice that creating this bean stitch will be work out really quite awesome. As we begin number 17 we are going to start a new color. So I've been talking to you about strategizing your color. From this point on in this particular series I'm going to let the yarn run out and just continue to work through the sequence of balls. What I recommend to you though at this point is that anytime you f feel like it's transitioning in the wrong spot that's where your ball number 10 comes into play. Sometimes a color can end just before you get to the final end. So sometimes what I'd like to do is just finish it off with the same color and then start fresh on the next round. Again, that's completely up to you and it's completely strategizing. So what we're going to do is that each one of these chain one spaces that we left in the last time that we're going to put into bean stitch and the bean stitch consists of a stitch and then you have to lock it with the chain one. So the chain one is not shown here. So these ch two chains that you see that's separate. So you're gonna do the bean stitch which locks it with the chain one and then, then chain two uh, after that. And so each one of these sits right into play. When I first designed this I only put a one chain in between these bean stitches. I felt it was too um, tight. So I put two in there. So as we're building this out you're going to notice is that there's four rounds of this bean stitch and it looks really awesome in this particular concept. And so every one of these chain two spaces then gets a bean stitch in the future. So essentially what you're seeing is that every time you're doing these bean stitches is that there's one extra bean stitch per round as you're growing it out. And that's kind of an easy way to remember it as well. When you get to a corner, the corners are always going to be the same for this particular bean stitch area. It will be a half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet in the chain one space. Again, if you want to move up your stitch markers, it's quite awesome. Again, that's completely up to you. We're then going to finish it off with some double crochet to stabilize and then two rounds of doing the back post which creates a new set of ridges. So you think you're ready? It's a five and a half millimeter size um, eye crochet hook and we're going to continue with our burnout pop. So I'm now going to begin and I'm going to grab ball number one because uh, this is where I am and I labeled it one. So I'm going to continue now the sequence and as I jump then at the end of this blue I will jump to the next ball, ball number two. So I have finished off and I still have some of this red left over which I'm going to save for a later time. Remember we don't need to waste yarn. So for this particular bean stitch you don't really need to follow it up with the um, the stitch work that you see but I'm going to leave those in place because I will need them for week number four. So let's begin this particular round. So we're gonna start off and we are going to just go into the corner. So you see how I have it already marked? It's awesome when you do that and therefore you can see it each and every time. And then just slip stitch to join it and then chain two. So you got chain two. That counts as your first half double crochet but then chain two more times. So when you start it's actually chaining four. And I do that on purpose just to make sure that you are understanding where I'm going with my idea. So you go to the first chain one space that's after the, the next single crochet and you're gonna do a bean stitch. So just lay that straggler down over top. So to do the bean stitch and I love the bean stitch. Let me zoom in and show you how it's done. It's really quite fabulous and it's a lot better than the puff stitch. So to do the bean stitch because we're starting I want you to lay the straggler down and I want you to come to the first chain one space after the corner. 
So this is kind of like a modified between a puff stitch and a bean stitch the way that I'm about to demonstrate to you but I'm referring it to as the bean stitch to keep it simple in the pattern. So to do this is that you simply a puff stitch you would wrap the hook first and then go into the stitch but it's hard to get the hook out and it snags a lot. So I like the bean stitch or this modified version because the hook doesn't snag and therefore you can just blaze along quite nicely. So it's your call it's up to you. So I'm gonna so to do this you're just gonna insert in so you don't wrap first just go right into the chain one space yarn over pull through then yarning over and then going back into the same spot going in and then yarn over pull through and then yarn over same spot again through and then yarn over pull through and you will end up with a total of six loops. I don't want you to pull through all six. I only want you to pull through the first five so ignore this first one. So yarning over pulling through the first five and then you're going to chain one then to lock it and that is your bean stitch. Then chain two to move to the next one. So go to the next chain one space. I'm just gonna leave this straggler down on top so it can get stuck underneath. So you don't wrap first so just go right into the chain one pull through then yarning over going into the same one yarning over pulling through yarn over and in and yarn over and back. So ignore the first one so just yarning over pulling it through all of them but the first one and then chain one to lock it and then chain two to move on. So I'm gonna show you one more time. So just going in pull through yarn over and in yarn over pull back yarn over and through and yarn over and back. Pull through the first five see how it naturally just wants to do that and then chain one to lock and then chain two to progress and this leaves it like a vertical look. So the next time that we come around these chain two spaces is where the next bean stitch will be in the next rounds. So what I want to do is go all the way to the first corner. I'll see you here here in just a moment and then we'll carry on and I'll show you how to turn and then I'm gonna leave the rest for you and then meet you back at the end of this round. So I'm coming close to the first corner and I want to make sure that I'm having 12 beans that go into the chain uh, one spaces. So there's 12 chain one spaces therefore there should be 12 bean stitches when you get there. So I'm coming to the space just before the corner and locking it and then chain two and then come right into the corner. So you've already kind of got it marked if you've done it the same way and you're going to half double crochet to start chain one and then half double crochet again and then there you officially turned. Okay so I want you to verify your counts. I know that I'm right so I'm, I'm not gonna verify that here and you start the next side. So one, two to start so chain two to start and come to the first bean stitch or the first chain one and bean in and you're gonna do that all the way around and there's only four layers of these bean stitches uh, when you uh, uh, all is said and done at the end of this. And so it's a really nice stitch. It looks awesome. It's easy to maintain and uh, let me show you the puff stitch. Let me show you why I didn't do the puff stitch. So you, a puff stitch you would wrap first and then going through and through and because the way that you wrap it see how it's leaning over it always wants to snag. Now it didn't snag then but it always wants to with me so I hate that stitch. <laughs> uh, worth the passion. So the bean stitch is a great alternative start so that you can have um, all the look without the fuss. So we're gonna bean all the way around and I will see at the end of this round and we'll just make sure that you're starting right and then I'm gonna leave the rest of the rounds for the bean stitch for you to do on your own and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So as I come back around what's gonna happen is that we're going to just join it to the first but I'm, let me just get there in just a moment. So there's only a total of four of these bean stitches in the rounds uh, so that it's really quite an easy idea. Um, I wanted something in the pattern that really you didn't have to think much about and so the bean stitch for me was one of those ones. So I'm just gonna come to the space right before the, the corner. Fill that in with the bean stitch and verify that you do have 12 of these going all the way around. If you've already verified that you had 12 chain one spaces chance are you'll have that done right. Now when you get to the final uh, corner that we started don't forget you have to half double crochet in there first and then join it to the second chain up. So remember we chain four so just join it with a, a single crochet. So what I'm gonna do is I want you to do four of these rounds and I'm gonna get you started. So now that the bean is in there the chain one space is acted as the holder. The chain two spaces here are the new spots and so there's a technically there's only gonna be one extra bean stitch per um, round 
uh, in each side as we're continuing. So let's just get you started. So you're gonna chain a total of four. So the first two is the half double crochet. Three and four is the chain two space. So come in between the corner and the first chain, our bean stitch and there, therefore that is your bean. This uh, is a straggler so just trap it up underneath, um, just go right up underneath that and bean stitch right in that position. Okay and then chain two and then come to the next space here. I'm just grabbing the straggler and going up underneath it so that I can really trap that in. It's a great way to do that and then just carrying on. So chain two and bean stitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'll meet you at the first corner one more time and then I'm gonna leave the next two rounds for you in order for you to continue. The ending of this will be the same so you'll put in a bean right at the end here and then you will just finish off this. So you put a half double crochet in this um, chain one space and then just join it to the second chain with the single crochet. So I will meet you at the first corner make sure that you're turning your corners right and then I'm gonna leave the rest of those rows for you or rounds for you to be able to complete and you will need four of these bean stitch rounds in order to continue. So I'm coming to the first corner that I'm about to turn and I'm putting a bean stitch in the space between the last bean stitch and the corner, chain two and then just come right into that uh, chain one space. So the half double crochet, chain one, half double crochet and then start another side. So just chain two and then come to the first space after the corner and begin your bean stitches all over again and filling them in. So please go all the way around and I want you to do two more rounds of this and then remember when you get back to the beginning it's just like you did before so you make sure that you finish where is the beginning here? Uh, just come into the first one, put in a first half double crochet to finish this corner and then join it to the second chain up. And what I want you to do is do four rounds of this and this will be rounds, uh, so we have 17, 18 is now in progress and 19 and 20 and I'll see you back here and we'll finish the final two, uh, three rounds that are left. So I'm coming all the way back around and this is my four layers. You can see one, two, three and four. So I'm just chaining a two and I'm half double crocheting in the final and then I'm gonna join with the single crochet join. So just go to the second chain up and single crochet it, it uh, the final gap closed. So now we're gonna move on in the pattern and now we have just have three more rounds to do. Look at the color is amazing right? So you'll see that the color did change on its own so I'm allowing it to have its own freedom as we go. So let's begin the next round. In the next round we're gonna go, we're gonna go round 21. We're gonna chain up three which counts as uh, a double crochet and then we're gonna put a chain, or a double crochet in the, the first half double crochet that you have here and then it's gonna be two double crochets in each of the chain two spaces all the way across to the corner. So when you get to the other side make sure that you put a double crochet in the first half double crochet that you have and then the corners will always be the same of double crochet, chain one, double crochet and we're gonna do that all the way around. Nice and simple, let's begin round number 21. So let's begin, we're gonna chain three which counts as your first double crochet and in the same one right here, okay, that is gonna be also a double crochet so that's the top of the half, that's considered half double crochet if you remember. So each chain two space all the way across is gonna have two um, double crochets into it. So as soon as you do the first one just jump to the next space. So it's kind of like you're bean stitching, jumping in the spaces but now you're just filling it in. And you're gonna do that all the way to the first corner and I'll see you there in just a moment and then I'll let you finish the rest of it on your own for this round. So as we get to the first corner you're just putting in two double crochets in each of these chain two spaces until you get to the half double crochet corners. Okay, so there's the corner. So the first one, this half double crochet is gonna have one double crochet in it first and then you're gonna go into the chain one space and it will be one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. So you just have to watch these half double crochets when you're getting the first stitch in. It's right here. Do you see that? That's the top of the stitch and you're gonna half double crochet in that one first before commencing into the chain two spaces. So each chain two space now to the next corner it's gonna be two double crochets. So please do that same idea going all the way around and I'll see you at the end of this round. Okay as you come all the way around you're just putting your two double crochets in each of the chain two spaces right up into the very end and after the last space here you need to put in a double crochet right into the um, half double crochet before going to the corner and then sinking right into the space there. You're going to put a double crochet and then join it to the top of the third, uh, the third chain up 
with the single crochet. So now we just got two more rounds to go, 22 and 23 and we're gonna be doing those. Those are both the same round and I'll, round <laughs> instruction wise and I'll show you how to do that next. So let's begin round number 22. So round 22 and 23 are the same rounds and what we have is that they're each back post double crochet. Now the difference between 22 and 23 is that the very first stitch out on one side of a flat has two back post double crochet. So you're gonna back post double crochet in each and when you turn the corner the first one out again will be two back post double crochet. We're doing that to change the count because it matters for the future. So that's what we wanna do and it's gonna be in the same instruction then for round 23 except for round 23 there will just be one back post double crochet in each and the counts are right and you'll just do your corners. The corners are one half double crochet, chain one, one half double crochet and that's what we're gonna be doing. So let's uh, move on now to round number 22 and get you started. Make sure you understand that and then 23 is just a simple round and then that will conclude week number three. So let's begin this 22. So we're gonna chain two counts as your first half double crochet. Now around the same po uh, the post underneath the first one out on one side is going to be two back post double crochet around the same post and this is going to change the counts to give us what we need for the next future and you don't need it for the next one but you'll need it for after that. So the rest of these all the way across to the very end is just one back post double crochet each and then when you turn the corner the very first one as you start the next uh, flat side will have two in there. So just, re just to recap I think we've done back post double crochet already. So it's just going in from the back and back out to the other side and just double crochet. So around the post. One thing you should watch for and I, I gave this in, in tip number or week number one. When you go from the back post make sure you grab the entire post. It's sometimes easy just to grab a piece of it and it'll be really obvious if you grab a piece of it and the color that you have is not matching the same color that you're going around the post with. So that's something to keep in mind. So I'll meet you at the first corner. Make sure that you're turning the corners fine and then we'll uh, pick up from that point. So as we're getting closer to the corner we're just going one back post double crochet in each right until the, the corner spot. So here is the double crochet just before the corner. So in the chain one space you will put in one half double crochet and then chain one and then half double crochet just like that. So then you're gonna start your very first one. So the first one out on a side is gonna be two back post double crochet around the same post and that will get us to have better counting for the future. It'll make sense later and then it's one back post double crochet around the remaining all the way to the other um, corner. So please do that for this entire round and I'll see you and just recap then for round 23 which then will be the conclusion for week number three. So I'm coming to the end of round number 22 and I'm just going to half double crochet in the final space that we started off with and then I'm going to uh, do a single crochet attached to the top of the first chain two that we had started with. So that's it. So what we're going to do is one more round and this is round number 23 to conclude and we're gonna chain 20 or chain two that counts as your first half double crochet and then right directly below here okay there all is all gonna be just one back post double crochet in each. So you don't have to worry about adding two to the very first one. It's just one in each and then you'll handle the corners exactly the same of one half double crochet chain one, one half double crochet. So I want you to finish now round number 23. Get that done and then we'll be meeting me back here in next week as we continue our mystery. So let me get you all the way around. Just quickly recap and then you can enjoy the rest of your day. So I'm coming to the end of round number 23. This is the final for week number three and we're just doing back post double crochet one in each. You can see that the colors have changed. Um, as you can see it's awesome and just coming into the very last one this is a half double crochet below just make that a back post double crochet and then go right into the space that you started with half double crochet and then join to the top of the chain two with a single crochet. So I'll see you next week and that's it for now. 
So that's it for week number three. If you're sick and tired of doing beans, congratulations, you have just mastered on week number three. You'll never have to do it again unless you see it in a project, but it is a great stitch. I hate the puff stitch, worth the passion. Love the bean stitch. It has a very similar look without all that yarn snagging as you do on the hook. So I'd like to thank my friends on behalf of Yarn Inspirations as well as us here at the Crochet Crowd. We'll see you next week, week number four, as we continue along and we're now at the halfway point of our stitch along for the summer. See you again real soon. Bye-bye.